Hey everyone. Today I'm going to answer another common question that we receive, which is how do you transport the wagon? It's a good question because you can't just pick it up and throw it in the trunk of your car. You'll need an SUV, pickup truck, van, or some other large vehicle. Here I have a pickup truck and an SUV, so I'll show you a few ways to transport it using these vehicles. But before I get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on our latest news and updates. No matter how you transport your wagon, you want to remove the railings first to lighten your load. The wagon weighs 130 pounds without the railings and 150 pounds with the railings, so it's easier to handle without the railings. 130 pounds is a little more weight than the average person can handle on their own, so you'll need some equipment to help transport your wagon. If you have a 2-inch hitch receiver on your vehicle, then you may prefer this method that uses this aluminum mobility scooter carrier sold by Harbor Freight for $190. It does require some assembly though, so just a heads up on that. This carrier is the perfect size for a wagon, and it has a ramp, so it makes it easy to load with one person. Simply lower the ramp, and then drive the wagon up onto the carrier. All the way until the front wheels hit the side of the carrier. Then you just remove the handle and strap the wagon down. I can show you that procedure in another video. But the main advantage of this option is that you don't use any of your cargo space, so you can pack all the stuff that you normally would. The next method to transport the wagon is using these loading ramps. I got these from Harbor Freight for $90, uh, and on the pickup truck, you just lay them down on the tailgate, and then you line them up with the width of the wheels. Uh, I like to drive it up on forward, so you'll start off on the ground, uh, and then once you get halfway up the ramps, then you want to get up on top of the truck. The wagon has brakes, so it's okay to do that. So I'll just go ahead and show you how, how it's done. Once you get it to about here, then you're going to jump up, and then just drive it right up. And then once it's up on the truck, you're gonna to wanna to strap it down and you're good to go. All right, if you have an SUV, you'll be able to load the wagon in there uh, using the same ramps. But first you wanna start by putting the back seats down so you make enough room inside. Uh, for this method, we're gonna go in reverse because you can't stand inside the SUV and pull it in. Uh, so to get started here, you're gonna use two hands, one hand on the throttle and one hand on the frame to guide it. And then you just hit the throttle and then guide the wagon up the ramps. And then once you're inside, you're going to remove the handle and you're all set. Now the only disadvantage of this option is that uh, your back seats are down. You may be able to get one seat up, uh, but if you have two children and you're headed to the beach, you're probably going to need to take a separate vehicle. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to stay updated on our latest news and helpful hints, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.